Hi everyone, it's Kay Kaltoff. Let me make sure I have all my equipment right here. I'm so sorry, I'm getting a late start. You're not gonna believe it. I literally could not find my phone. Like, like it was three o'clock and I'm, I was in a panic. I couldn't find my phone. I had set it down and it kind of was um, under some papers and it's a little bit cluttered in my office right now because I'm getting ready for spring fling and I there's a lot going on in here and so it's just kind of a mess and so it's no wonder I couldn't find my phone. So anyway, I am plugged in because then when I did find my phone, I found out I was nearly out of power. So I have to um, run this Facebook Live with a cord so hopefully that won't be getting in the way. But it's great to have you here. Wow, look how many are joining. You guys must be fans of Happy Tales and uh, Nine Lives. You know, I am excited. I'm going to be sharing these cards at Spring Fling as well as with you today. And I thought these are perfect because at Spring Fling we usually make um, two cards. And these two cards can be kind of the same design using sort of the same stamp sets. You just can pick dogs or cats or one of both. Because regardless of whether or not you yourself own a pet, more than likely you know somebody who is head over heels in love with their pet. And quite often pets are dogs and cats. We have a pet cat, so I actually prepared a third card to make today if we have the time to do it because my little kitty Schmore is a big part of our lives. And we call him Schmore because it looks like he's got marshmallows squeezing out the top. He sort of looks, he sort of looks like a Schmore. And in Minnesota, everybody, everybody eats Schmores around the campfire. So, oh goodness, you're already sharing. Well, I tell you what, the share this time is going to be, of course, a card. You get to pick either a cat card or the puppy dog card. And then I will give you two yards of the black twine that um, we're going to be putting on this card. So that's what our share is. So what you can do to get in on the, on the drawing that we'll do on Wednesday is just share this video on your timeline. Let me know that you've shared in the comments or just make comments. Tell me what you like about the card. Tell me if you're Stampin' Up! Demonstrator or if you're a Stampin' Up! Customer. Um, what else can you tell me? You can tell me where you live. There's all kinds of things. You can tell me if you have a, if you're a dog person or a cat person, or if you have a pet dog or a pet cat, or if you have both, or if you have neither, but you know people who do, do. There's so many things you can share on our timeline. So great to see so many of you here. Thank you again for joining me. I am going to um, be flipping this camera down. I've got a couple of cards that I got in the mail. Oh dear, did I, did I bring those? I got some cards in the mail. Now, now don't tell me I didn't put them out here. Oh, that's a shame. Oh no, here they are, I just found them. Oh goodness, that would have been sad because we got a card from Linda Brady this week. Thank you, Linda. She was sending me a thank you card and it's a really cute home to roost card so I think you're gonna like it. And then one of my Stampin' Friends, she is actually a customer of one of my, my downline, but we've been friends for, I think since 2000, and so she is quite a stamper. So she sent me a St. Patrick's Day card that I thought was pretty cute, so I'll be sharing that with you. Oh goodness, it's great to see you all here. I so appreciate it. Oh, we've got some people who love dogs, some who love cats, some who love dogs and cats. Oh, Marty, I didn't know you had a lab. That's cool. I like the I like that the, your lab is named Hunter. We have a chocolate lab on the farm and his name is Penny and he goes duck hunting with us every fall. So he's quite the, quite the good dog for my dad. All right, so this is the first card that I wanted to share with you. It is from Linda Brady and she is one of our watchers on Facebook Live and she sent this card to me and I think it's so pretty. It uses the home to roost and it's also kind of a paper pumpkin card. Do you notice all of the little different paper pumpkin things that she used on this? So one of the things I love about paper pumpkin is if you happen to have leftover paper pumpkin, you can um, use them on other projects and so that is so cool. So this is the card. She also ran it through an embosser because she's got the honeycomb embossing back here. 
It's just cute. I love the Home to Roost. It's a super easy stamp to color. And if you're confused about how to color a rooster, all you have to do is go to Google and type in um, roosters <laughs> images and you will get a ton of ideas from that. That's what I did when I was trying to figure out how to color my rooster. And then here is a card from Dar Fraley. She is like I said, one of my stamping friends. We've been friends since 2000 when we joined a stamping breakfast club. So she saw me when I very, very first was a brand new stamper. Because I only I started stamping in February of 2000. And I think I joined the breakfast club like that, that summer or that fall. So I've known Dar ever since. And uh, I ended up recruiting one of her friends. And of course she buys from, from Kathy. But it's just kind of funny because Kathy has been in my downline she just celebrated her 10-year anniversary as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And one thing that's really neat about Kathy's story that, that's kind of fun to share is she said that when she joined Stampin' Up! she started saving money because instead of running to all the different stamp stores, she just bought from Stampin' Up! And if Stampin' Up! didn't have it, she didn't buy it. And so she found that she was saving money because she wasn't trying to use every coupon that came across her desk. And she found that her creativity exploded because there's so many ideas out there for Stampin' Up! So she always says, yeah, Kay, you saved me money. So I love hearing that story. Plus, we always have a discount. You don't need a coupon to shop Stampin' Up! when you're a demonstrator because you're always going to get at least a 20% discount. And depending on the volume that you do, your discount can go um, quite, quite a bit higher through the month. So this is a cute, cute card. And sh she used some kind of a die, I don't know what, and some really cute paper. But then she also used that, that cable knit um, embossing folder that has sort of like that sweater look. So it's really cute and fun. All right, so going on, you know, as long as I'm sharing with you a little bit about um, some things that, you know, have really changed my life in Stampin' Up!, there's some. There's a little magazine called Be Part of Something Amazing. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but my picture's actually in here, and so is my husband's. This is a little rec recruiting brochure that Stampin' Up! put out, and I don't. I I always forget to show you this, and I always have intentions to show you. So today's the day. If any of you would like to see this in person, I'm so happy to mail it out. But this is what it looks like. And then um, it just talks all about the different things that, you know, make Stampin' Up! great and why it's great to be a demonstrator. But one of the things that you can do as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is as you earn points with Stampin' Up!, you can redeem those points for a trip. And so I've earned trips starting in 2012 and have earned a trip every year since. And this was the trip to Fiji, and I had to do a little vellum cutout so you could see my face because otherwise I'm sure I would be hard to find in this photo. But I'll hold it up to the camera. Do you see me? That's me right there. That, again, was um, in 2017, the summer of 2017, when we went to Thailand. And this was the favorite thing that we did in Thailand. This is where we did a bunch of... Um, what do you call that? Zip lining. Zip lining through the jungle. So it was so amazing. And then I'm going to show you my husband. So we'll bring this over here. And that's my husband, Steve. And he also felt like this is one of the funnest things we ever did on a Stampin' Up! trip was go zip lining in the jungle. I mean, we were way, way up there and it was so much fun. So anyway, I had to just share that because it was just, just something that I've wanted to do for a while. And then another thing I wanted to share is if any of you are thinking about it, please talk to your demonstrator about joining Stampin' Up! and getting that 20% off on every single order that you ever, ever place. Because during celebration, there's this wonderful option where... For, for just $99, you get $175 worth of Stampin' Up! products. That's a really good deal. That's $50 more, dollars more than normal. And if you want to go ahead and get the case, you can do that. It's a special only through the end of March, which means in two weeks the special's over and you can't get the case anymore, and neither can I. So this is the only time to get it. So for an additional $30 or so, you will get the 
craft and carry tote as part of your starter kit. And again, it's $175 worth of Stampin' Up! products that you get to pick to put in it. So it's really awesome. And then, of course, the best gift of all is the friendship, the camaraderie, being in a wonderful Stampin' Up! group. Um, it's just so worth it. So do be sure to uh, either contact me if, I, if I'm your demonstrator or contact the person that you work with because it's such a worthwhile opportunity. All right, here are the cards we're going to make today, and they look like this. We've got our Happy Tales bundle right here. Here's the little puppy, that, puppy card we're going to make, and here is the kitty card we're going to make, and it's just so much fun. So let me share with you some of the things that we're going to need. So we're going to make both of these cards at the same time. Just because it's it's kind of easy to do this at the same time because the, if you notice the card design is pretty much the same. It says a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart, and then there of course is the little paw print in the heart, and then you can see the same with the kitty cat. And I use the same words. The words are from the Happy Tales bundle, but it works for the kitty too. And the kitty is from Nine Lives. It coordinates with the cat punch, which is in our annual catalog, and then the puppy dog coordinates with, you know, you can purchase it as a bundle, saving 10%, and it's called the dog builder punch, because you don't only, you not only punch the doggy out, but you get to punch out a little heart alongside him. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. The first thing that we're going to need is two pieces of basic gray paper. This is four and a quarter by five and a half, both of these pieces. So let me go ahead and take this off. Oh, I have to run grab my glue. I'll be right back. And I thought I'd better grab two snails because this one looks like it's kind of almost done. Um, then the next thing we're going to use is some smoky slate, and this is four by five and a quarter. So we're just going to layer this right over the top. So we're just going to put that on with a little snail, and you could use glue too, but it's just as easy for me today to use snails since that is pretty handy. And I haven't started my glue, so I'm not sure if it's going to work real perfect right out of the bottle or not. So we'll just take it easy and do snail. So we'll put this in, and all I'm doing is just setting this so that all four borders are nice and even. So there we go. Then the next thing we're going to do is we've got our fold over. So we are using basic gray again. So this is three and a quarter by eight and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a quarter. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to fold it along that score line. I like to use a bone folder just to make sure that will lie nice and flat for us. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other card. There. Now I am going to use glue because I want to make sure that this um, stays nice and you know, this is this is going to be getting a lot of use because it's it's opening and shutting. And I know the glue for sure will hold really, really well. And I can kind of wiggle it into place. So I'm going to put, oh good, it's working great. I'm just going to put a little rectangle of glue all the way around. And then we're going to set this in. Oh, so it's about a half an inch over from the smoky slate side. So we'll just press that in. And that looks pretty good. So this is going to be our puppy dog card because we're going to have the puppy looking this way. So our heart is going to go right here. So that's why we're, we're doing a shorter edge over here because the circle that we're going to put in needs to extend out over on this side. And now for the, for the kitty cat card, we're going to do it exactly the opposite. So again, I've got my... my uh, three and one fourth inch by eight and a half inch piece of basic gray paper and I've scored it at four and a quarter and just folded it in half and again I'm just going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue here along the back and then we're going to set this in so that it's more towards the right side of the card and we're just going to give it again a little about a half inch here on the smoky slate side so we'll put that in 
burnish that down and we're good to go. Then what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and just finish off the inside. So the inside has two panels here, one for each card, and it's three by four inches. And we are going to need our stamp and pierce mat. So I've got it handy. And then we're going to use some Tuxedo Memento Black. This is a great, great ink to use with photopolymer because it will not forever stain your photopolymer. Um, and it works really good with Stampin' Blends too for those of you that maybe didn't know that. So this just says, a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. So we're gonna stamp that here. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other one because kitties can be best friends too. My daughters would definitely say that Schmore is their best, one of their best friends. So that's why I think it works with both stamp sets. All right, then we're just gonna flip this over and take a little snail across the top. We're gonna set this in each of these cards. So we'll just put that in so that it's nice and even all the way around and we'll do the same thing for the other one. And now it's just a matter of going to the Big Shot machine and doing a little bit of embossing and cutting out. And then we also need to stamp our dog and our cat. So let's see what we've got here. Why don't we do a little bit at the Big Shot machine next. So as you can see, I've got a piece of real red scrap. That's going to be our heart cutout. And we are going to be using, from the Occasions catalog, these great framelits. These are the Be Mine stitched framelits. And you can see there's a whole variety of different things that you can do with this set. And so even if you don't care to have the stamp set that coordinates with this, I just love the uh, framelits. These can definitely be used year round, as you can see. It isn't just for Valentine's. So we're going to grab the Big Shot machine. And I am going to cut two hearts at one time. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to fold this in half. And then I'm using my magnetic platform, which is my favorite, fav one of my favorite accessory tools from Stampin' Up. And then I've got my cut plate, which as you can see is pretty cut up, but that's, that's how they get. You're not doing anything wrong. Then I have my heart on this little piece of scrap. Whoops, make sure that's sitting in there. There we go. And now I'm just gonna run it through the Big Shot machine. And we should be able to cut out two hearts at one time, one for the kitty card and one for the puppy card. So there it is. And it worked great. So there's our two heart punch outs. So let me grab my stamp and pierce mat again because we're going to do a little stamping on those hearts. So I'm just gonna put that aside for a minute because we still have some more things to do on the Big Shot. So one other thing that we're going to be using on the Big Shot is two pieces of gray granite and both of those are cut at three by four inches. So that's going to go on our card as well. And we are going to need the basket weave so I have to get this, I, I can't use my magnetic, I can't use my magnetic platform for doing um, embossing. So I have to go back and use the platform that comes with your Big Shot machine when you purchase the Big Shot machine. So there it is, it's just the Big Shot platform and it actually has pictures to show you kind of how to do it. And most folders, you would use two cut plates, but with the super thick ones, See how big and thick that is? You only need one cut plate because the folder itself takes up a lot of space. So let me, and I think I can do both of these at the same time. So I'm just gonna set this in and we'll close that up. We'll put the plate over the top and we're going to run that through. And let's see how that turned out. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I forgot to take the little tag off. That got embossed as well. But that was the back side, so that worked out pretty good. So there's one, and here is the other. 
And I mean, this is a little bit more defined, but I think you could do two at a time pretty easily with this particular embossing folder, which is called the Basket Weave Embossing Folder. All right, and is there anything else we need to do? Actually, there is. So I have two pieces of basic gray scrap, and we are going to, again, grab the magnetic platform. And what we're going to use here are the layering circle framelits. These are wonderful. And we're going to take the very largest scallop, and we're going to set this right on top of the scrap. And again, we can do two at the same time. And we're going to put our plate over the top and run that through. Did you guys know you could emboss two at the same time and cut two at the same time if it's not real complicated cutting? You would never do that if it was one of those finely detailed dies. But for something like this, it works pretty great. So we have our two cutouts for our one for the kitty and one for the dog. And then I need to show you one more thing. We're not gonna use the Big Shot anymore, but we would, except for the fact that I already have it done. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab it here. So the, the, the card that we're doing, let me bring it back into the picture again. You can see that it has this lovely stitching around the outside of the circle. So that is our stitched shape framelits. And what I did is I used the very largest circle stitch shape framelit, and then I took a variety of wood backgrounds. So I used some, some of this white wood background from our Wood Textures 6x6 paper. And then I also used a wood background from the Floral Romance specialty paper, which looks like this. So I was able to get 16 cutouts from this 12 by 12 paper, and I was able to get four from the six by six paper. So that worked out pretty good. So I have the two cutouts right here. Um, again, one from Floral Romance and one from the Wood Textures. All right, so that's where that comes from. You could use any light paper. I mean, you could even use smoky slate back there or whatever you wanted to but I just kind of wanted to have that wood background look I thought that looked pretty neat okay so let's do some stamping and punching because we've got to get our kitty cat and our puppy done so we're going to use some scrap whisper white so I've got that ready to go and let's bring our stamp and pierce into the photo here and we're going to Again, use the Tuxedo Memento Black, and I'm going to take that little paw print, ink that up, and we're going to stamp that onto our heart. So there's the first one, and here is the second one. Whoops, there we go. Looks so cute, doesn't it? I love that. That just looks so adorable on the cards. And then we're going to, um, Take the, the paper that we just, well, that I pretend, I didn't actually cut it out. I had it ready for you in advance, but we did all the same routine that we did with the other Big Shot items. But I'm just going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue, and we're going to glue that onto the large scallop circle cutout. All right, so we're going to flip that around. And that fits into that scallop circle really nicely. And we'll do the same thing here. And it looks great. All right, so now we've got the hearts done. Now we just need to get our puppy and our kitty stamped. So we'll start with the kitty. And we've got the outline for the kitty first. So what we do is, again, we're going to take the Tuxedo Memento Black, and we're just going to ink that kitty all up. And we'll stamp her right here. And then we're going to do the same thing with the puppy. Again, just ink it all up in the Memento Tuxedo Black. And we'll stamp that one right here. 
And then we have to put on our accent color. So we're going to use Smoky Slate. And for the puppy dog, we'll just ink up these spots. And then you kind of have to um, figure out which way this goes. But once you've done it once or twice, it's pretty easy to figure out. So his little rump here is gets the bigger spot. So you're just going to line that up. And you'll put that down just like so. And look how nice that works. Just fantastic. And then we're going to do the same thing to the kitty. We're going to use the smoky slate and ink up the kitty. And again, you just put that right over the top of your kitty and this gives him a little bit of color. So this is going to be a gray kitty. There it is. Looks so good. Okay. So now we just grab our punches. We have the doggy punch first. We'll just put him in here and line him up. And then when he's all lined up, you just give him a punch. And there he is. And then we'll grab the kitty punch and do the exact same thing except with the kitty. So you just line her all up. And once you've got that kitty all lined up, then you can give it a little punch. And there she is. Doesn't that look great, you guys? Okay, so we're almost done with these two cards. It really doesn't take long. So let me grab the, well, let's see. Where, well, I wouldn't think it, well, here we go. I was like, where'd it go? All right, so we're gonna take these um, basket weaves and we're just gonna glue those down. Oh, Marty, I'm so glad you love it. Thank you, by the way, for your order last week. It was really a nice size order. You got yourself that new um, bundle. I'm excited to see that. You're gonna have so much fun with it. In fact, my next card uses the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper if you guys want me to make that card as well. So. It's a beautiful paper pack, and it looks good with the kitty cat punch. Thank you, Linda, for sharing. It's great to see you. I'll be seeing you on Saturday at our event. Linda is going to be coming with one of my uh, new downline members, so we love that when we, when we have a new downline member who already brings a friend to an event. So that's fun. Okay, so once you have these glued into place, then the next thing you're going to do is get your circles that you have. And Linda, I don't, you probably didn't catch this if you're just joining us, but these are things we're making at Spring Fling and Fall Flare. So, actually I shouldn't say Fall Flare. It's what we'll be doing at Spring Fling next week. So you just put a little bit of tape on the kitty and just goes right here. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the the wood grain lined up so going it's going up and down and then for the dog same thing just add a little snail we'll put that dog on this one and it looks great all right so now the next thing we need to do is we need to add a little twine so I'm going to grab my basic black twine and this is what's going to be given away this time around so I'll give you two yards of the twine and what you want to do is wrap it around a couple of times so I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple of times and then we'll know where to cut it so we're gonna cut it right here and then when I'm tying twine on I like to just go ahead and tie a knot before I tie my bow so, I'm going to tie this on just like so. Oops, I wrapped it too many times. I only want it twice around, and I had it three times around. Whoopsie. Here we go. Plus, this gives me a little more room to work. So, I tie it into a knot. Oh, I bet I don't even have this in the photo. I'm so sorry, you guys. Sometimes I don't look up and see what I'm doing. I think I got it in the picture now, though. Sorry about that. So here we go. So we're just tying it into a knot. And then once you have that knot, then it kind of stays stable for you so you can make the bow. 
And then you just take your scissors and and make it all cute, just like so. And I think we need a little more glue on this one. It kind of wants to pop up here. So let me grab the glue, add some more glue there. And this is the one that's going to be our dog. So I've got to put this twine on the other side so I can just scooch that over to the other side like so. And then we'll add our little puppy dog. And we're gonna add him with dimensionals. So I'm gonna grab some dimensionals here. And the easiest way to do it so that you don't end up with dimensionals showing on the back side when you open the card up is to just put, just put a couple of dimensionals like this. And that's all you have to do. You only need three of them. And then you can just take your puppy dog and just set him right here over the top of those dimensionals. And he'll be right where you want him to be. So there he is. And now we'll just add a heart. So I'm going to look for my hearts that I did have here just a second ago. Oh no, where did they go? There they are. And I think we can do the hearts with just one dimensional. It's going to look great. So there we go. So here's the little heart. We're just going to set this right up here. So it sort of looks like he's looking at the little heart. Just like that. So there's the first one. Isn't it great, you guys? If you love it, give me a couple of likes. So I know that oh, the encouragement helps so much. So thank you for the hearts and the likes just so fun and then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the kitty card so again we're gonna take some some of this uh, black thread which is what we're actually going to do is our giveaway on Wednesday so we're gonna tie it around twice and then of course you're going to tie it in a knot and this time we do want the knot over on the right side so I will get this right this time again just tie it in a knot, and then it's easy to do your bows from the knot. So there we go, and we're just going to tie it in a bow, and then we will trim it up, and it will be ready to go. So just like so. Isn't that cute? I just love the twine. It just looks so, I don't know, dainty or something. I like it. All right, and then we're going to scooch that over a little more to the right so we have room to put our kitty cat on here. And again, probably the easiest way to do this is to just grab your dimensionals and you're only going to put three on. So one here, one there, and one there. And then you don't have to worry about dimensionals showing through on the back side because you will not be mistaking where this goes. So you're going to set this on like this. That looks pretty good. And then you're going to add the little heart with a dimensional. We're going to set that right up here. And our card is complete. Isn't it cute, you guys? Oh my goodness. I've, so, I've had so much fun making these cards because for Spring Fling, when we get together next week, we have a lot of people, so we have a lot of tables set up, so I need to make approximately 12 sample cards. So I made six puppies and six kitties, but these two cards that I've made today will be the giveaway cards. So I will give those away on Wednesday, and you just have to let me know if you want me to give you a puppy card or a kitty card if you're one of the winners, and you have to contact me within 48 hours, and then I'll also give you two yards of the um, linen thread, and it's just I think you'll, or it's not the linen thread, it's the black twine, the, the black baker's twine, but it's lots of fun. You, if you don't have it, you'll enjoy getting it. How about this? Would you like to see the card I made especially for my kitty s'more? Of course you would. So here it is. It says, you're the cat's meow. And when you open it up, a friend like you comes around once in nine lives. And I think it's so cute. And I just want to share where I got this idea. Well, actually, I'll show you what happened here. So just last week, Stampin' Up! sent out their Stampin' Success. So it's a quarterly magazine that, that they send just to demonstrators. So it's another perk for joining Stampin' Up! 
And then in here, we have all these wonderful ideas. And one of the ideas was this really cute kitty card right here. And when I saw this kitty card, I just thought, oh my gosh, I have to recreate this because it is just so cute. This little um, Starburst Punch works perfect for this sentiment. You're the cat's meow, and then you can nestle the kitty right up to that sentiment, and it looks so good. And so I thought the colors were pretty nice, and so I decided to go ahead and just recreate. Well, I, obviously the card's not the exact same, but you can see how I got the idea, I'm sure. And so if you'd like me to, I can go ahead and recreate this and give you all the measurements. So I will just sit here because, I mean, if you don't want me to do it, I don't have to. <laughs> just let me know if it's something you'd like to see me do, and I can do it. I mean, it means the video goes a little longer, but, you know, what the heck, right? Good. I'm seeing some hearts. It looks like, it looks like that's a go. Hooray! Okay, so let me get all of my goodies here. This won't take very long because it's just punching and stamping. There's no big shot work. So what we're going to do is I'll pull out my little packet that I prepared. And we are going to start with a base card of Cajun Craze. And this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And the Cajun Craze is kind of a, a pretty color that works well with the petal pink and the crisp or no this is not crisp cantaloupe what is this grapefruit grove so it works well with grapefruit grove and petal pink and i did not know that when we first got grapefruit grove and petal pink i didn't know it would look so awesome with cajun craze but look at that isn't it awesome i love those colors together so let's see here what do i need to do i need to find my stampin mat here it is. All right, so I gave you the measurements for the card base. Then I know what I need to do. I need to find this. Oh my gosh, my desk is so junky. But we are going to work with the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper for this card. The Paper Series Designer Series paper is only available for about two more weeks because. Um, March 31st is the end of celebration. And honestly, I should amend that to say it's really only available while supplies last. So if it's something you want to get an additional one or if you just decide that you really like this paper and want to get a pack, um, it's free with $50 during celebration. Or you can purchase it as part of the Painted Seasons bundle. So this is the side that I'm actually using for my kitty card. But you can see how gorgeous this paper is. And it's all season. So you've got, you know, Christmas and you've got fall, spring, summer. It's lovely. So again, we're going to use the back side. We're going to use this pretty um, kind of a grapefruit grove side. So I have that piece of paper ready to go and we can just glue that right onto our card. So this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And we're just going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to glue this paper down though because isn't this side pretty too? <laughs> Doesn't work quite as good for this kitty cat card though. I want this side to show. So here we go. We're gluing it down. And then we need a piece of scrap. This is... um petal pink and I, I actually haven't used petal pink very much but I'm probably going to start using it more now that I know it goes so beautifully with the Cajun craze because I like Cajun craze. So we're going to take the starburst punch and we're just going to punch out a starburst punch out and then we are going to grab our tuxedo black. This is our tuxedo memento black and we're going to take you're the cat's meow. We're going to ink that up. And we're just going to stamp that right here. And that looks good. All right, so we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to do our little kitty cat. So you're going to need a scrap of Grapefruit Grove. And then again, you're going to ink up the kitty with our Tuxedo Memento Black. And then you're going to set that right here. Beautiful. 
And now we are going to take Cajun Craze ink, and that's what we're going to use for um, making our kitty a little bit more orangey. So my dad has a kitty named Rusty, so I'm kind of thinking this might be a good card to send to him, maybe for his birthday, because he's a real cat person. All right, so we are going to ink this up with the Cajun Craze, and then we're just gonna set this right over the top of our kitty. And it's kind of hard to see me doing this because it's hard to get my head in front of it. It turned out okay, it's not perfect because I couldn't put my head over it because of the camera, but it'll work. So now we're going to take the Kitty Punch Out, and we're gonna punch out this kitty. And again, you just center it in there. And when you feel like you've got it all centered, give it a little punch. There we go. And then you can just go ahead and add a little glue to the back of the kitty here. And you can already put this on the punch out. So we'll get that set in just like so. That looks good. Okay, now we're going to do the inside panel, and that is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of petal pink, and we're going to put that on after I put the little decorative piece at the bottom. So this is three-fourths inch by four inches of the Painted Season Designer Series paper, and it's just a little scrap that will look nice and it will coordinate with the outside panel of the card. So we're just gonna set this right here at the bottom. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of glue here to the back. And we're gonna set this on the inside panel of our card. And then we'll just do a quick little stamp. And it says, a friend like you comes around once in nine lives. So this is nice. This is a cute, cute friendship card. There we go, so the inside panel is complete. Let's finish up the outside panel. So we're gonna have a Cajun Craze panel that's three and a quarter by four inches. And we are going to use some of Nature's Twine in Grapefruit Grove. And you know what's awesome about this twine? Look at how it comes off the spool. It's already, it's already looking like the cats played with it. It looks so good. See how bouncy and springy that is? I love this, that it holds its shape. So just cut some off. And look at that, it's just neat. So to put it on your card, all you have to do is kind of decide how you want it to look. Like this looks pretty cute. So I'm gonna just sort of hold this in place so that I have all these little loop-de-loops going. And then all I have to do is grab some scotch tape and we can actually hold this in place because that's gonna get covered up by the punch outs. But this will be enough to hold this in place. Look at that, so it holds it in place. Now if there's one that's really going crazy, just put it under. And then also our, um, our kitty will kind of cover that up. But all you need to do to hold that in place is one little piece of scotch tape. Isn't that cool? I just love that. So again, that's the Nature's Twine. It comes in four colors. I think it's Mint Macaron, Grapefruit Grove, Soft Suede, and Fresh Fig. So those are the four colors. So I mean, this kitty could be playing with a lot of different yarns here. I think it's going to be fun. Then what you're going to do is again, we are going to be doing this with some dimensionals. We'll just put dimensionals on here. And I don't really wanna get the dimensionals too much up into the yarn. So I'm going to just set those maybe like this. Make sure that all covers, yes it does. So I got one dimensional down here where the kitty punch out is. And then I've got two dimensionals up here and then I can set this like this. Let me make sure I'm getting the sentiment straight. That looks pretty good. Press that into place. 
Look at that, you guys. Isn't that just so cute? I love it. I just love it. There we go. So now we can flip this over, add some more dimensionals, of course, because we want this nice and poppy. So we'll just add a dimensional to each of the four corners because we have plenty of dimensionals in the middle. That's where our kitty punch out is. So we don't really need to raise that part of the that part of it. And then we'll set it in here so that our right and left is even and then maybe just a tiny bit bigger on the bottom than on the top. Oops, I set this in and it's already down and I wasn't quite ready. I want to get this just right. So that looks pretty good. I think that's good. Do you guys love it? I do. I really love this card. And again, I got this idea to create this card from looking at this cute little card that we got in our demonstrator magazine. So, so much fun to be a part of Stampin' Up! and to get all these wonderful ideas. In addition to what we see on the internet, we get special things just for demonstrators. So I hope you will take it up with your with your demonstrator that you want to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and get that 20% discount all the time. So here are the kitty cat cards. And then I've got the puppy card right here. Where'd he go? I know I have another one. Here he is. I think I'll put this one like this and then we've got more kitty cat cards over here actually I think I have to do it this way I like to get this all set up because a lot of times on Facebook this ends up being the picture that is shared on Facebook so I like to get this all looking really cute and here's the other one Do you guys just love it? It is so much fun. I've had so much fun making these cards. I hope you have enjoyed watching it and have had a lot of fun too. I'm looking forward to Wednesday's giveaway. So I'll give away either a kitty card or a puppy card. And along with that, I'll do two yards of our black baker's twine. And I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my Stamping to Share community. You guys have a wonderful day. Just as a little FYI, this is my only Facebook Live for the week because as you know, I'm really busy getting ready for um, a big event this weekend. So this is all I'm going to have time to do. But you can pro I promise you that you will see me back here next week on Monday and we will make some more cards. So we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.